Well, hello there, my fellow FileMaker developers. This is Matt Petrowski. I'm your FileMaker instructor covering tutorials at FileMakerMagazine.com. And in this little video, I'd like to give you a very quick tip that will save you some time when you are duplicating layouts. We're going to be saving that extra time. So first and foremost, there are a lot of times when you have a lot of elements that are similar across multiple tables. As well, you typically want to have some type of developer layout, and that developer layout is going to be the same pretty much across all of the different layouts within a given file. If you don't know what a developer layout is, you'll find out through the course of this video. So when I take a look at my defined database, we can see that I have a number of tables. Those are right there. Now I'm using a data separation model, and all of the tables that you see here are coming from a separate file, but it doesn't matter whether you're working in the same file or a separate file. This tip will apply. So basically, here is the situation. I currently, when we take a look at the layouts, only have one initial layout. That's that one right there that we see called people. Now this at symbol and the at people, if you want more explanation about that, you can head over to filemakerstandards.org, where basically we are prefixing any developer-specific table with the at symbol. That's how you know it's a dedicated, standalone developer table only used by the developer, not something that a end user is ever going to access. So knowing that I've already set up my default right now, people, I know that I want multiple layouts often with similar fields. In fact, if we took a look at the tables, we would see that every table has an ID, a creation, account, timestamp, and host timestamp, and other fields, such as the modification, modification. So we want to get this on every table that we're going to create. Now, of course, the easiest thing to do is simply duplicate our tables. So I'm going to do that really quickly here, and I'm going to do it for however many tables I have. It looks like I have one, to three, four more tables. So I'll simply click the duplicate four times. Now the easiest thing is to simply go in and rename all of these at one time. So I'll do this by setting this one to, let's say for example, products, and then renaming to products, and so on. So I've gone in and renamed all of those tables, and now all I need to do is get the fields onto each of these layouts, but the fields relative to that particular table. That's where we typically end up with this situation right here. If I switch to a particular developer layout such as charges, we basically have a duplication, and now I would have to go through the long hassle of double-clicking, reselecting, going all the way to the top, selecting on charges, and then selecting the right field that I want to put in there. Well, knowing that all of these fields are the same across all of the tables, there is an easy way to do this, and that's what this tip essentially is. We are simply going to use FileMaker's internal IDs in order to co make this copying process. This was covered at Pause on Air, and I think an article was also written somewhere else on the web about doing this. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my first table, which was People, where all of the fields are relative to the table they are that they belong to. I'll go into the defined database and I'm simply going to double click people and rename it to simply just the at symbol. Any single character will work. Now I did that only for the purpose of being able to get these fields onto the clipboard. So with all the fields copied now, I'm going to, and actually I don't need first name and I don't need last name. The one fields that are common across all of them are ID, the creation and modification. So I'll now copy those, and then all I have to do is go in and rename the table occurrences again. I'll rename this one back to people. Now remember, when I copied those fields, the table occurrence name was the at symbol. So watch what happens when I simply rename charges to charges, and then move over to the charges layout which is right there. Now unfortunately, FileMaker is renaming my layouts, which is something that typically it's going to happen if the original table name was something that the layout was originally named from after you had created the table occurrence. Fortunately, if you've worked on a FileMaker solution long enough, 
after you've changed the name a couple of times to something other than what the original layout was, this renaming won't actually happen. But here is the tip. All I have to do is select all the fields, remove them, paste, and notice that all of the fields get pasted right onto the layout with no references or no missing references. All I have to do is then go in, rename this to whatever the table name is, which happens to be charges. So I'll do that here and then I'll rename my table occurrence back to the same thing and hopefully that will also rename my layout back right there. So now you can see I basically got that very quick copy paste. I will need to go in and rename my layouts but that's simply double clicking here and again this automatic renaming won't happen if you've named the layout something other than what FileMaker originally named the layout to which corresponded to the name of the table. So that's a great time-saving tip for copying a lot of fields. You don't have to go in, double-click all of them, especially if you're duplicating a lot of layouts.